What is up, Kingsman? Welcome back to the battlefield. Today, I have another 4v4 in NTW3. And, um, well, this one's going to be a little interesting in that uh, there's a lot of Russia. A lot of Russia. There's, of course, Piumont. And then there is, you can see this one Russian faction, which I think the flags have glitched out because it is not the right colors as the other Russian factions. Then you have, um... Uh, Vigration, who's bringing a lot of meh. Th their, their infantry aren't the greatest, but they are bringing the best cab you can. Two Curiosiers, they're bringing some Lancers, they're bringing some um, Hussars. So they are going to be very crucial in this battle. You have another Russian force here under Levin von Bengitsen. And uh, this one has a lot of artillery, has some decent infantry like Grenadiers. Um, I think it has one Cressier, then some Dragoons, and then Ulani and Kazakis. And obviously, as you can tell, they are going to be the first to face off against France. Now, France is not moving, and as you can see, they are already getting shelled into oblivion. The general they are bringing is um, Juno. So, uh, kind of sitting here, not pushing. They really should. I mean, this is Russia we're talking about here. Um, the other, like I said, the Russian faction is, uh, where's their general at? I think they shifted over. Suvorov is the other general. And like I said, Pumont, they took this LOC and they are marching. I'm not sure where they are going. Um, Pumont is not someone you see very much. And um, they are bringing horse artillery. They have Michelangelo. Um, Dragoons, I think they have some. These are like a, uh, kind of remind me of the heavies, the way they look. But uh, they're not heavies. They're C7s. And then you have some more Dragoons. So they, I don't think they have any heavy cav, but Russia has them covered by far. Now, as you can see over here, we actually got France closing in here trying to go for the artillery and uh, I don't think that's going to work as they are immediately going to run. These guys did lose half their units. It could have been from friendly fire. may not have been. France over here is getting very aggressive. You can see they are chasing down some Kazakis with their Dragoons. Um, not as fast. And actually Russia is in big danger here of being totally outflanked. As you can see Dragoons, Lancers um, just pushing pushing for this flank where Russia does not have a lot. Of course, they're thinking of their Kriassiers, their Ulani, and their Dragoons to match this. Now, I don't see any cab defending this artillery anymore. France, it looks like, is going to start advancing over here. Um, here we go. It looks like France is actually going to go in. These Musketeers getting some volleys off in the corner or the side of this unit. Um, I think the General is not... He isn't inspiring this unit necessarily, but... Um, oh, here we go. So here's the rest of the French army. As you can see, we have um, Salt. And he was looking like he was advanced for the town. Maybe not anymore. Maybe it's because he saw that Piumont is coming on the flank. And this other French army is like, eh, we're going to join up. You do not want to get stuck out alone. And that's probably why Salt is waiting. Now, this Russian faction... Oh, they have Ottomans. The Ottomans, excuse me, the Ottomans have joined this French coalition. Interesting. Very interesting. We have some, uh, some Ottoman cav sitting right over here. Now, this is going to be interesting. Um, so actually, it looks like there's three factions maybe on this side. Actually, I think that Russia is committing in some of their dragoons going against some other of the... French Dragoons and Lancers. This is going to be nasty. As uh, France honestly should probably try to commit. Here we go. More Dragoons rushing in. Going to hit some more French Cav. And like I said, guys, the best person to take on French Cav is Russia. Russia can do that. Um, they have heavies. They have Pack-a-Punch Cav. Here we go. More uh, of the Russians throwing in some of their... Hussars, I believe. Gonna break the, these Lancers from France. And now, 
It's their turn to charge France in the back, totally isolate them. And uh, France is starting to lose a lot of their cav right over here. This is gonna be a problem. Um, we have artillery setting up here that is now gonna be in danger. I think this the Chasseur Cheval and these Dragoons need to rush up here. Also, uh, Russia needs to be very careful because Ottomans oh, are, are running, pushing sir. quite a bit here. Um, they're gonna start shooting at your cab in the flank. Um, and that is gonna be a problem. Also, what seems to be a big problem is that Russia kind of just alienated this one Prussian faction. They don't really have a whole lot holding this house. I don't see a whole lot of artillery, although the batteries right here are going to do so much work. Uh, but here comes, who's this? Honorvale? Honorvale? Vale is going to be attacking on this side, hopefully in cooperation with his ally, um, Juno. Um, but this Russian artillery is just shelling the French infantry into oblivion. Ottomans are going to have an excellent um, point to attack. I mean, they have nothing in their way but a bunch of cav. And uh, they do not have a lot of infantry that can form squares, so maybe Russia can use that to their advantage. And here we go. France is going to send in some more. Going to go after this. Kazakis probably break them. Um... Our men are running, yeah. sir. Ottomans need to be more careful. Because, like you see, there's two units that can form square. Uh, this whole side is very, very... Uh-oh. Okay, so we got some cuirassiers going in against uh, Ottoman cavalry. Some sepai... Uh, I'm not even going to try to say it. Um, that's not going to go well for them. Maybe they're hoping their infantry will all the blast in. Oh, no. We got... Oh, my goodness. I did not even see that. Was even looking at the mini map. So the Ottomans are trying to flank these heavy cuirassiers. And, and maybe it's going to work. Russia's going to actually hit them in the flank as well. Um, they're going to be maybe throwing in their heavy cav. They have two of them. And um, this calf battle is going crazy on the flank here. The Ottomans bring in so much cav. Finally, someone who's worth, worth the meeting of them. Over here, as you can see, we got some French getting attacked by Russian, uh, I believe, Ulani, no, Dragoons. And over here, it looks like actually France is going to be pushing for this side. This is the weak side at the moment. Um, but you see all the Russian infantry is moving men are running, sir. Piumont is going to be huge in this battle. Um, their flanking force is going to be massive now. You see, you see these Cressiers are getting engaged by the heavy cav for the ottomans they're going to maybe surround and take on this one heavy cav but their heavy cuirassiers for russia are tired they are done guys they are tired <laughs> so uh the ottomans may have outplayed them rushing in their weaker cav to tire out the cuirassiers and now they're committing their heavier cav when russia doesn't have a lot and russia's gonna lose i probably would have stayed in that fight because they're wavering and they're gonna get attacked in the rear. And now you have a general running up here. Maybe if they boost up their general morale, they can. Um, they can do this. So as you can see over here, Russia is kind of in a tight position here. Um, over here, France just seems a little out of place. They don't seem to know what they want to do here. And the Ottomans are deciding just to skip pushing on this flank, which I think they should try to swing right here. But they're going to go for this LOC, and they're taking care of the Russian cavalry, um, trying to eliminate them, because that is the worst threat for them. Uh, I think that actually looks like they're... Ooh. Oh, the Russians are shooting directly at this flank, I think. Maybe not. Um, but as you can see, France is making a push now. And this Russian player, this poor Russian player is about to get surrounded, but they do have reinforcements who are going to arrive hopefully just in the nick of time. And I mean just in the nick of time. This is going to be... The French are converging on this one little position. You can see these light infantry and musketeers are just sitting right here. They're about to get... These guys are about to get shot, flank, and break. I would pull them back. 
Now over here, Russia still has some of their KSC errors. They managed to get them out. That is a very uh, successful move for them to be able to save their heavy cab. Usually, I, th I thought heavy cab was dead. Um, they have some grenadiers in here. Two grenadiers, I think. No, some skirmishers and grenadiers. So they are trying to hold this LSC with their cab. They are going to try to buy time. Wow, they're a Russian player. Both these guys need to uh, fight the French, who are making some massive advances. As you can see, we have the artillery set up right here at a point to be able to drive back the French. Now, this artillery is getting excellent hits on all of this French line, but here we go. Here is a cav charge to probably drive back the artillery. They're going to get shot in the flank as they're rushing up, but they are definitely going to make it to this artillery. Unfortunately, um, even though the Cuirassiers are going to rush up here and try to save this artillery piece, I don't think it's going to matter. They have one still, though. They have the bigger one. But the Ottomans have now, as you can see, shifted over as they need to address this Russian army forming up. They do have another Russian army sitting here. They are probably going to be the ones trying to stop this French incursion. Now, the French are going to fall back here. Not over here. Um, which is why I'm wondering why they are not advancing right here. They need to put so much pressure on this little... This is like a, a, a sore thumb. Stuck out. This is the Russian sore thumb, guys. If they can hit it from multiple angles, they will crush this whole army. Now, it does look like... Russia is pushing up. I'm surprised France didn't try hitting him when they were disorganized. And uh, the Ottomans hopefully are not going to fall back. Um, they can push up while they're disorganized as well. But they, like I said, they're going to have to be very careful because their units could easily get squashed by any cab. So Piumont hasn't done anything really yet. They are kind of just marching up still. Um, the army is slower. No, they have some L5s and L4s. L1s over here and L2s. But um, they need to start moving up. They ought to take on this other side because all France, the whole French force is focused right over here. Um, oh, I do believe they're nice 135 men. They must be deploying stakes. That is going to save artillery. That is huge. That is huge. And now guess what? These dragoons are just gonna get destroyed by those stakes. I don't know if they even noticed them. But, uh. Oh, they get shot to pieces. They're getting shot all up. It's not gonna matter. Oh my goodness, look at this. The French taking on this massive Russian army. The Russians pushing up and Our starting men to are engage. Running. Looks like some, uh. Super cheap. Okay, what is going on here? I wonder if Russia dropped. Yeah, they dropped. Oh, that is unfortunate. I think they dropped. Maybe not. Um, they were doing some very AI stuff for a second. They're running all their infantry. So... Um, oh my goodness. Oh, look at the Russian push here. While well, I was distracted, France is just getting smashed. All this heavy cab and dragoons just smashing straight through the center of France, going right through. And now France is all of a sudden in full retreat. They're trying to reform here. France is getting attacked now by the other Russian faction. And uh, Russia is just continually pushing. They are just continually putting the pressure on them. They kill a kill a general. And France is in a terrible position right now. They do have cav, some camel, some camel cav rushing in to try to save this army. But the mass routage, guys, is is real. Russia now throwing in some of their infantry to do a bayonet charge. I think we're about to see. We're about to see in what a minute, an entire French army just break. 
Oh my gosh, that was crazy. All starting right here, where they threw in some cav, followed up with some infantry, and France has a couple units here left, um, but they're probably gonna get charged as well. And all of a sudden, Russia, just like that, has basically routed a whole French army. And now Russia can, can afford to fall back over here. Now over here, um, France is really getting aggressive. In fact, it looks like they're gonna charge the artillery piece. Oh, the shrapnel. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they broke them. This is why you don't send infantry into charge artillery. So all of a sudden, France is just destroyed and Russia now has this flank. Russia is gonna be able to now push to reinforce or to push on the flank of France. And France, um, that one of their armies has not even been engaged yet. Um, Salt, I don't think has fought yet. Sardinia or Piemont is advancing here. Um, a lot of cav to hold them off. This cav would have been better used on the other side. Piemont does not have the greatest cav. So, the Ottomans still are going to be making a very excellent push. Looks like they sent some cav in to go against some... Oh, this is... Don't don't charge your men. Don't charge your own skirmishers. You poor skirmishers. So, the Ottomans are utilizing this as best they can. They're going to try making a solid push. Russia here is going to have to have a side. Are running, sir. Which side they want to push on, I think they're going to commit to this side. As you can see, Russia is getting shot to pieces um, by this French Orient army. And um, I don't see their general, but... I think they are going to reform and try maybe for something else. They do have a clear path to the city. Um, although, Piemont is sitting right over here. Our men are running, sir! Um, but this is definitely a place where Russia is weak and France is starting to push there as you can see if the Ottomans can break through you can uh, join up They're gonna start putting on some solid fire these musketeers That's a really good unit of musketeers. So um, oh, They also got our skirmishers moving up artillery still supporting with cav watching their back um, and as you can see, Russia is definitely pushing here. I think they have one cav unit just to charge down any French that may try to return and be a pain. Um, but over here, definitely the Ottomans have a solid advantage. As you can see, they are rushing over infantry, rushing over cav. They are just breaking the Russians here. And um, Russia is going to fall back and try to reform probably. And maybe, maybe they want to defeat this army first. They have a very good push going on this side. I would caution being too aggressive. These guys are probably tired. Yeah, they're very tired. Um, maybe being too aggressive. Oh, bayonet charge from Grenadiers. Oh my goodness, two Grenadiers going in. This is going to go bad. Although they do have some Russian cab that is going to come over and try to charge them in the back. But still. Okay, at least they had the cab to back them up because otherwise these Russians would have been screwed. Our men are running, sir. Over here, look at this. The Ottomans totally... Uh-oh. Bagration is gonna get killed. Bagration's dead. He's totally gonna get charged by some. Oh no, my these are. I think these are French. <laughs> um, the, the Ottomans have definitely made the way over to their ally, and they have alien. They've totally isolated guys. They've isolated all of the Russians into this one little circle. They may have lost a French army, which is coming back, and hopefully they notice with their dragoons. Yep, they do. Uh oh. Yeah, they notice. <laughs> um, but they still have to fight in a massive half circle. Piemont is starting to form up here, guys. They are going to start making some gains here. Um, I think they took out one artillery piece, maybe? Maybe not. 
but they are the ones defending the city and making a massive push, guys. This army has not fought yet, and they have nothing but cav going against them. Um, oof. They don't have a lot of guys that can form square. This is not the ideal situation here. I'm going to keep an eye on that, because that could definitely change the course of the battle. Um, Kev, Rowdy, many of them. The Ottomans have just been making a very solid push here. And uh, Russia is just struggling, I think, to uh, form up. They are going to be getting in an ever-tightening Russian circle. And I think Piemont knows that their infantry are in trouble unless they send over some cap to support them. But they have the LOC still. So over here, France is now going to sit back and uh, not attack. <laughs> um, France over here is attacking. Our men are running. Oh, uh, these skirmishers really, unfortunately get friendly fire. Oh, oh. Some light infantry that tried to go in. It's not going to matter. They are going to break instantly. That's a long distance to do a bayonet charge. And the Ottomans are going to start maybe winning this again for the French. Because, I mean, unless this Russian army forms up, this French just need to wait. Here we go. Going in once again for the... Oh, no. I think they may actually take out these artillery. Maybe, no, no they're not. Oh, they're gonna follow it up, I think. Yes, they are, they're gonna do a cav charge. But they're gonna get shot to pieces as they're trying to fight, look at that. Um, that is, I mentioned it before, that's an, that's an exploit which, I will never say that a, a, anyone did just in, on purpose. But this whole thing, Shooting while you're in melee, it will destroy a unit. Now, they did volley right before they got there, but the cab definitely got shot in melee. Um, it's unfortunate. Okay, so, so there is an army here, which is starting to uh, fight Piemont. Piemont has a lot of troops here, and they are going to need to fight hard because Russia is actually looking very... Had. I mean, they they are taking a ton of losses here, and now they are outnumbered and being coming outgunned. They do have some reserves here, which they are definitely going to need. Um, as France, yeah, if they push on this flank, that is an excellent. Oh, we got artillery getting charged by some lancers here. Uh, this infantry are just going to form a square and then shoot them in the flank. And now here goes the attack, guys going as they were re they were not reloaded and um, this infantry is going to uh, get attacked this is a very solid line of region legionnaires maybe All hope is lost, sir. This but they are gonna gone. hold this cab charge it would appear and uh, yeah France is like nope that was too thick of a unit oh, oh no don't okay so they're going to go right back in, take on some Cav. They need to make this battle fast because, as you can see, Russia's in trouble. They are sending infantry and Cav now. Yeah, they're going to smash this uh, French line here. Or maybe not. Um, Russia is very weak over here. They have some Cav here, but they are... I mean, their men are trying to hold against a massive Ottoman army. And the Ottomans are going to make it a problem. I think at this point, Russia is just outnumbered. They are starting to make some massive headway here, as you can see. Um, really starting to carve up this French army with their infantry and cav. Look at this breakage. And uh, France needs to advance to help because... They are actually starting to carve away at France. Mass breakage. They do have some reserves over here, but oh my goodness. Over here, they are actually going to start falling back 
as uh, Sardinia is going to keep pushing. Horse artillery is starting to even the odds. They've lost their artillery on this side for France. But as you get, yeah, France is just breaking over here. That is one of the breaks that Russia needed. Oh, we have some French sneaking in here. They're gonna start shooting at, um, well, some grenadiers in the house. Um, but Russia is gonna get pushed very hard by the Ottomans. Ottomans gonna start making a huge push here. They are going to be super crucial in this battle. Um, they can definitely turn the course. Turn the tide. That's what they could be. Now you can see more Russians and French fighting over here. These musketeers, Russia does better in melee, unless unless these are like special French troops. This is going to be a disaster for France, and they will have lost their whole flank. Now they maybe can hold this. These guys may be tired, and these guys may be active. That's going to help, um, but it's giving t Russia time to reform here. Oh, we have a, maybe a general. No, these are just Dragoons. Oh, okay. men are running for. Yeah, Russia's going to win this one. Um, these guys have not moved. I'm really surprised they aren't trying to engage. Uh, over here, it's becoming a kind of mosh pit as uh, Ottomans trying to make some pushes here. Looks like we had a cab engagement. Um, France and Sardinia fighting. Uh oh. So definitely Sardinia outnumbers the French forces. So they are going to start hopefully using their numbers and just inching forward a little bit at a time. France, they could keep fighting and retreating battle for a little bit longer. Um, not too much longer, obviously, but they could definitely fight this battle because they do not want Sardinia getting over here. I mean, they have almost crushed Russia. They almost have done it. They just need to hold them a little bit longer. Um, Ottomans are making some great ground. Their cav, of course, is... Um, <clears throat> the cav for them is going to be a problem. And uh, this Russian cav is going to be just crushing this flank. But their, their line is very solid. They still have reinforcements over here. I'm taking an LLC. I think they're hoping just to squash this whole Russian army. Um, and that's exactly what they look they're doing. They're starting to tap with their Cassiers on the flank. These guys form a square. So they're going to probably send their Grenadiers over. Maybe do a bayonet charge. Make those squares obsolete. Sardinia is continually pushing. Rush, or France is going to start falling back here. And uh, this battle is at the 30 minute mark. With... A lot that has happened, but a lot still to happen. Here we go. Sardinia is sending in some more cab. They're going to start tearing up this French army. And uh, they're going to make their their cab charge the back of these French infantry. These French infantry just got squashed. Uh-oh. We got some uh, cab be trying to go for the horse artillery, but they're going to get... They're going to get through, Maybe. They're going to get one artillery. And go in the back lines. But I think they're going to get destroyed now. But they did break the artillery piece. Oh, over here, Russia is just really struggling now. They did do some bayonet charges and cab charges together. And uh, that obviously is really what you need to do in order to get rid of squares. So now the Ottomans are going to have to send in the rest of the reserves. Oh my goodness, more cab going in the back lines. Ottomans are having well, trouble, guys. Look at this. Half of their army is just all of a sudden breaking. Could the Russians turn this around on this side? Could they do it? Because they are starting to really break the Ottomans who cannot form square. They have nothing to defend against this um, Russian push. Yeah, they are, they are not doing well. They have three units actually in this battle still. And the rest are tr holding. Oh, here we go. France is getting up. Like I said, they're still trying to fight in 
Well, a retreating battle over here. Russia is uh, going to be reinforced very soon. The French are kind of sitting here with some of their units. I'm surprised they didn't try pushing them up. Um, but as you can see, Russia has just started totally mass breaking the Ottomans. Ottomans not doing so hot when it comes to their uh, melee. And, uh, yeah. I, the Russians turned this one around when I honestly did not think they would. Um, here we go. More Cav from France coming over here. They would have been better used over here with Sardinia. Because um, these guys need to hold back Sardinia until this fight is decided one way or the other. This French player is not advancing. They are shooting though. Okay, so that's good. But Russia is just getting the whole, turning the whole flank. Guys, they are turning this whole flank. And um, now Russia has been able to Man, the teamwork that this the Russian players have used. Pumat has been able to just fight on their own. And Russia has just been able to just even the odds here. Oh, going in for a general. We have killed that general, sir. Now and general's dead. Oh, here we go, though. These guys forming a square. Camels gonna oof. Go right for that square. Interesting tactic of uh Maybe that's a little pushing through here, because that was definitely a square I saw that they pushed through. Yeah, they pushed through that square, unfortunately, but it's not going to matter. I think the French are going to lose this battle. Once again, I think... The, I'm not sure what the French player is doing here. Maybe he's AFK? This is a lot of infantry that maybe they forgot about. Um... While they were uh, sitting there, the Ottoman ally just got melted. And now this French player is going to make a push um, a little late, unfortunately. And now the Russians can afford to just sit back, wait for Sardinia to make their push. As you can see, Sardinia is making their push. Artillery are evening the odds. And honestly, I did not think that the French were going to... I thought the French were going to win. Um, and I am not so sure anymore. I think that the Russians can hold them. I mean, if, if the French get these reinforcements in, which they are, they can still maybe squash this French... Oh, yeah, they do have, they have more French allies over here as well. They can still squash this Russian army. These Russians have to hold um, a lot longer. Can they hold? That is the question. Um, they are holding over here as well. It's a lot of just like, can we hold long enough? Sardinia is getting around the flank. Uh, they're about to start breaking this whole line here. Oh, uh, looks like actually the Cuirassiers are going to be going in. Charging this line. Uh-oh. They've gotten slowed down. They're going to get shot to pieces. And, uh, yeah, they're going to go for the line, which is actually really going to help um, slow down the slide. Yeah, they're covering their retreat here. But I think that they are going to just lose their Cressiers. Maybe they were sacrificial um, as they are now realizing we got to just we gotta take out the Russians over here. That's it. Here we go, though. More Cav is going to sneak up. Okay, they're going to... Uh-oh. Notice them. Please notice them. So they're going to clash right here. Infantry backing them up over here. Chris here is broke. Piedmont still pushing here. And this French player just needs to hold back Piedmont until the Russians get destroyed. Now they are issuing out, actually. And uh, actually, I would have held my ground. I would have held my ground. But it is... Oh, that's why. Here, Piedmont has made a breakthrough. Um, Russia, or France over here is not doing anything. I don't know why they're not moving. They should be moving up. They should be helping their ally out. Um, they're just kind of sitting back here. Watching their ally kind of get destroyed. And guys, this French army is isolated now. Um, they lost their cav over here. Piedmont's going to be able to connect with Russia. And Russia has managed to survive. I don't know how Russia survived. I would have definitely lost as Russia already. 
but they are now going to make some really excellent pushes here. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must pray. A general? Ah. Vale has died. And um, now it's just going to be watching the French collapse um, as the cab is going to charge. Infantry, hopefully, are in charge for Piedmont, too. It is over. And, um,. The only French army left is over here, and they are re they are rushing to each other to try to help each other out. Bayonet charge, going in, but this French army, they keep breaking in mass. And now it is up to, is this all one army? No, this is two armies. The Orient and Spain. Now, they haven't even taken an LOC. Um, we do have some Ottoman sitting way over here, but uh, Russia isn't even... This Russian player is not even giving them a break. He's like, you know what? Don't need it. I, I don't need my ally. I've been doing well on my own. These guys are so tired. Like, they've got to be tired. they gotta be. They got to be done. They've been fighting for so long. Ooh, solid volley into the back lines of the, Rus and the French. We got more Russians advancing over here. We got more over here. The French are about to uh, feel the full weight of all four armies falling upon them. And here we go. We got some Cressiers, which, man, you never see heavy cav this late in the game. You know? never seen they usually are always gone instantly here we go we got line infantry charging in the back of France and uh, that's just been that's been the style of this battle is just the coordinated infantry and cab charges just such coordination to be able to hit them at the same time. They can't form square because then the infantry gets them. If they do, don't form square, though, the cab gets them. It's like, you know, you're screwed if you do, screwed if you don't. <laughs> um, and now this last desperate stand here. Um, It's gonna, it's gonna fall as uh, the cab is just going to attack them, and the infantry gonna push up here. I uh, know they're just gonna volley them into oblivion. That's gonna hurt. The Italian army is just gonna start breaking here, as you see, just. Cavalry charging in the back. Um, this square is about to just feel the full weight of Sartinia's cabin infantry. And that's about it, guys. I mean, this battle. was one heck of a fight. I mean, the Russians pulled it together somehow. I don't know how they did, but they just pulled it together. Um, at this point, I'm going to fast forward because it looks like uh, France is just... The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. France and Ottomans got a couple scattered infantry, so... Well, let's let them clean them up. Okay, guys, so this one was sent in by the British Emperor, who was a player of uh, this Russian army. Um, really good game, my goodness. I really thought that uh, the French were going to take it. Um, the cav that the French, that they, sorry, Russians brought just was so overpowered. It was, man, what a game. Well played on both sides. They both did the best they could. And it was a very close game until the very end. So let's take a look at the kills. 734 kills by this Dragoon unit. Now I know they were like killing routing units as well but still that is a lot of kills like a lot of your infantry get like in the hundreds that is always a good sign so um i hope you guys enjoyed this battle um if you did and you are not a supporter of my channel a subscriber and you would like to be i would greatly appreciate it trying to reach 300 we are nine away so 
And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much. You guys stay safe. Have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all in another video.